Outs. I teach third grade at Franklin Elementary. I'm a bilingual teacher, and we're tired of the district cutting from students rather than taking care of the budget and having a transparent process where we know where the money's going. We know there's the money, they're just spending it on all the wrong things, and we need to make sure the money goes to classrooms and our students because they're what matters to us. What do you think about the charters here in Oakland? I think they're draining from public schools, and I think it's an intentional process to undermine public education, which is fundamental to our democracy. So it's a big fight that we have, and there's a lot of misinformation about what charters are about. Um, we really need to message that it's, it's, harming our, it's harming the children of Oakland. I'm here. Um, I've been following this for a little while now, and I'm here to basically um, encourage the board, or pretty much protest the board, to not um, agree with today's budget cut and, and reassess how much they're going to take from the central office versus the schools. And basically, I want them to take nothing from the schools. They say they don't have any money, they don't have any choice. You don't believe that? It's not about a believing, I think. It's about. I think that maybe this might be the first round that they want to go through. I think that they're going to figure it out. They really made a mess of this, and I want to hold them accountable for it. And I just want them to go back to the table and rework this budget. My name is Aidy Hogue. Um, we're here to stop the cuts to Oakland schools. Our students have been targeted for cuts for long enough. They've handed you know, a third to half of our schools over to charters. We're not going to take it anymore. Every student in Oakland deserves an equal quality education. We don't need to, you know, cut apart, cut up, further segregate our district. We are not having it. We're going to fight for equal quality schools for every student. They have been approving charters. Uh, every time they approve charters, less money for public schools. Is that what's going on? Yes, I believe that's what's going on. The, you know, the charters, they're a method of privatizing public education, of sucking more money out of our already impoverished communities. The charter schools need to be stopped. You know, that, and Do you think the charter school law should be repealed in California that allows public money to go to privately run schools? Yes, I absolutely do. And I think the new civil rights movement 
the movement that's fighting racism needs to take up the fight for public education and against charter schools because you know they are a method of and they are they have been successful in starting the resegregation of our schools charter schools are more segregated than public schools and it's not the answer. We need to make a fight to fully fund our public schools to get more resources, to have our school, you know, to bring back integration programs. We should be going the opposite direction. And what do you think about the politicians, though, the mayor of Oakland, Governor Brown, who support really charter schools and get money from the billionaires who are supporting the charters? I mean, I think that, you know, both the Republican and Democratic parties have been pretty hostile to public education, to teachers unions, to funding our schools for a long time. And we're not gonna be held back by, you know, the, uh, the kind of economic alliances between the politicians and various capitalists. We're gonna fight for our communities, for our students, we know what they deserve, and we're going to fight for that no matter what. Leah, I am a single parent in the Oakland Public School District, and to hear that they're trying to cut $15 million hurts my heart, considering, considering that our children are already behind in the education of educating our world's next leaders. All we have is our children in this world. They're the ones who will stand up and speak for us once we're gone. At my son's last school, He's a middle schooler in the sixth grade, and I went and sat in on the classrooms to see what was going on. There's not enough teachers in the classrooms. The children are way outnumbering the adults, and they're running the show. So thus, the education is slipping through the cracks already as it is. We have learners at all levels, not only special education, but you have learners at high esteem, learners at low esteem, and those who are right in the middle. Currently, in the junior high system, they're asking the high learners to teach the low learners. My question is, when my son is the advanced learner, who's educating him? He is being sent out for detention instead of receiving an education because he's not able to teach. So my question then was, where's his salary check if he's required to teach? I had a meeting with the principal, and her only response is, Oakland Public doesn't have the money to hire student teachers. I'm sorry. So how do you have the money to cut 15 million more if we're already lacking and you're asking my 12 year old to teach the other 12 year olds? How much people that are in the high level of reading process and they're trying to take away a lot of money? We, we need a lot of books in our school because a lot of people need to read for they could get better and advanced. Andrade. I'm a special ed teacher at Melrose Leadership Academy and a parent of two children at the same school. And why are you here tonight? I'm here tonight because um, I'm really concerned about the budget cuts and what's going on to uh, the, the schools right now. And how are charters affecting your school? Well, the charters do take away a lot of um, the students that would be going to our school, and so that's money directly taken away from our schools. So you think that they're siphoning it off from public education? Oh, most definitely they are, and because they don't have the, um, the same kind of structures and the same requirements for how they're supposed to be managing these funds, a lot of the times if we don't even know what's going on with this money. I'm 
Donna, and I'm with Black Organizing Project, and I'm part of the Bettering Our School System campaign, our boss campaign. I'm sorry, I'm not loud enough. How about that? How many of you know that there are three levels of policing entities in Oakland Unified? How many of you know that? We have Oakland Police Department, we have Oakland Unified School District Police Department, and we have the school resource officers. Recently, they're con contracted to have the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, in our schools. While many will claim that police provide safety in our schools, we know that for black and brown communities, and even for European communities of low income, the police do not equal safety. I personally spend hours and hours mining the data, and mind you, my organization had to win a policy so that there was data collected and disaggregated so that we could take a look at it. Prior to that, there was no way to keep the police accountable. There was no way, there was even not even a way um, to understand what they were doing, what their responsibilities, what their limitations were in the schools. And if you know many of us as adults, we don't know our rights when we're walking these streets and the police abuse that. How much more so do they do it with our students? I personally have seen the data. We also want another um, policy, a complaint policy. Before that, there was no way for anyone to lodge a personal complaint against anything that the police did. There were complaints for gambling, falling asleep on the job, sexual harassment, sexual assault. There's even a case from 2012 that has no resolution to it. And we're still trying to get the data from that. Last year, while they were making cuts, as you see, to, to teachers, supplies, etc., they approved a budget without any input from the community of three quarters of a million in raises to the police. In addition to that, a few months later, they approved a salary for the Oakland Unified Chief of Police at $180,000 plus benefits, etc., etc. And when you can hear teachers say we don't have supplies, when you can hear have a parent say they're asking my kid to teach and instruct other students, this is just absurd. We need to have we need to have that budget for restorative justice practices, counselors. Right now, I think there's like one counselor per 1,800 students. It's absurd. We need to ask them, in addition to cutting from the top, to cut from the cops. They don't equal safety for our children. All right. Here we are once again about the state takeover. And so they want to balance the budget off of us. There should be no cut in Oakland schools. We have been here, we know about it, we didn't make this happen. I am the president of SEIU, 10 to 1, and we say, as one, we are one unit together because an injury to one is an injury to all. And we will not have it, we will not let them back budget off of us. So no cutbacks, we are one, we are together as unions and labor. We are the ones that run the district. We make things happen inside this district. So no cutbacks in Oakland schools. All children deserve the best that we have. And we have given that and then some. Yeah. School, and there's not enough teachers there to educate our kids. There's kindergartners in the classroom with, with one teacher, 25 kids, kindergartners with one teacher. And he can't seem to get his classroom under control because he needs some help. He needs some help. And I've been crying out to the school board, the district, and to Tamla, and I have not gotten a call back. My granddaughter was set up. She was outside of Burkhalter School on 73rd, and the school did not run after her. They 
Technical High School. And I am afraid of the budget. And I want to say that I love our students and that I love all of you guys as students that, that from my perspective what I want to say is that I care about uh, deaf students and I would like to help those people who are learning ASL And the, and the the support they are working on, I would like to help those people do that. Awesome.